before the paper 50 times and measure the height. You get 212 million, 589,000, ninety kilometers. Now it's close to the distance between the Earth and the Sun. I asked 1,000 people this same question, but no one could answer. 1,500. All answers were incredibly wrong. If you start to measure with your tape, you're gonna get the wrong answer. Now let me show you step by step on how we can get up to 112 million plus kilometers by doing this simple trick right now. Fold the paper the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, and the fifth time. Do the same for other papers. Right now we can have a lot of papers. Here's the first bunch binded, five folds. Take another bunch, five folds, that is two. Join them together, we have six folds. That is, when you fold, you have times two of the previous one. Join them together, multiply by two, we have the seventh fold. Take another of this one, add to it, you have the eighth fold. Duplicate it, you have the ninth fold. Then two of the ninth fold will give you the tenth fold, which is this. Let's see how the 50 folds we almost get you to the sun. That is 149 million kilometers. Remember, each next fold is it times two of the previous one. Let's measure it up with an electric pole. The initial fold is 10, double 11 folds, double 12 folds, double 13 folds, double 14 folds. Oh my god, just 15 folds is higher than an electric pole. Let's do a manual measurement of the entire 50 folds by hand. Oh, it has buzzed the sky. It has left the earth to the sun, very close to the sun. That is 149 million kilometers distance from the earth to the sun. All this can be done using a simple mathematics approach called the geometric progression. Using this formula, we can solve it very simple. After the entire calculation, we got it right. That's 112,589,990 kilometers, which is very close to the sun.